Okay, so I have the thought for the day. Uh, you know, the kind of famously, uh, Mother Teresa said, uh, in this life, uh, we can do no great things, only small things, with great love. And so it's about the small gesture of connection and compassion. Um, I, I don't want this thought for the day turned into that commercial where the guy opens the door for the blind lady and then the lady helps the next door neighbor rake the leaves. You know what I mean? It's, but that's sort of it, you know, it's, it's about the small tiny uh, gesture. Uh, you know, I used to be better at this calling homies when it was their birthday. Now I just have too many homies and homegirls in my god ass out. But um, years ago I called a homie on his birthday and had already moved on uh, from all the stupid gang banging and uh, had a family, worked in Fresno, and I was, uh, and this, he's my compadre, and I uh, baptized his oldest, uh, the godfather for his oldest son. So I called him on his birthday, and he just, and somehow, just little, this little thing just sort of uh, became so huge. You know, we had that experience where we go, wow, it's a tiny thing, but it's, it, you know, it means a lot to people. Like, and he says, oh, damn, gee, I got chills right now. <laughs> I go, chills? He goes, yeah, the hair is standing up on my arm right now. <laughs> you made my whole day that you called me. I said, well, it's the privilege of my life to call you my compadre. And there was silence on the other end, and he goes, chills. <laughs> tiny, things are so tiny, and yet you don't really realize that it's the small gesture, really, that kind of uh, gets people. I, um, years ago, when I lived in Bolivia, I, I was there in a time when it was the poorest uh, uh, country in the Western Hemisphere, poorer than Haiti. And uh, they don't eat tortillas there, they eat bread, and there's this Bolivian bread that's uh, kind of a staple. Well, they had to ration bread, which was this huge crisis. So my house job, I lived in a house of 10 Jesuits. My house job, and I think they gave it to me because I was like, oh, I'll show you, you know, uh, the gringo, let's send him. Uh, so you had to go wait for bread. You had to get up at 3 in the morning, wait for three hours uh, in the cold, in the Bolivian cold. I brought lots of blankets. And, and you just sat on the sidewalk in this, I said, cola, you can make this line. And then the sun would come up, the bakery would open, they had to verify your address, how many people in your house, and then they'd give you twice as many people, so you'd get 20 loaves. It was a, it was a big deal, the rationing of bread. So I was waiting one day for a, a bus in a downtown Cochabamba, and the traffic was late in the afternoon, and there was a beggar at the end of the corner, uh, a Quechua Indian, and he was blind, old man, and he had a hat in front of him, hoping to catch a coin that somebody might throw in. And a, a, the traffic was backing up, and there was this huge truck uh, filled with campesinos. It was the end of the day. They were filthy and tired after working in the fields. And I watched as there was this one campesino in the truck, and he reached into his little rucksack. And all he had in it was one golden loaf, which was so valuable in Bolivia in those days. And he just took the loaf, and he just held it over the hat, which was quite a distance, and he just let it fly. And it dropped right into his hat, and the impact sort of startled the blind beggar, and he reached in, and he got it, and he held it up to his nose, and he uh, was just so delighted, and he held it up to whoever gave it to him, and he held it up uh, to God, who was in the small gesture. So we need to find those things, because you just never know the impact that a small gesture will have. Small things, great love. I remember after Moreno was killed, a much beloved here, those of you who are new, uh, and a homie came up uh, in my office and he said, Moreno was the first person to welcome me. I said, he was? He goes, yeah. What did he say? And his eyes filled up with tears and he said, What's up, fool? <laughs> and he'll never forget that for as long as he lives. So, it's about small gestures. It's about great love. Chills. Let's dedicate ourselves to that uh, today. Anthony.